Gadget Got here, and today marks episode number one of a new series I'm calling Complete Inbox, where you are all invited to join me on my impossible journey to collect every Nintendo 64 game released in North America with the box and manual. So we can see here, I have my first kind of group of games that I've started to collect, and let's go ahead and get started. And if you're wondering what made me decide to try and collect every North American Nintendo 64 game complete with the box and manual, check out my first video where I explain what influenced me and why the Nintendo 64 is my favorite video game system of all time. I will put the link in the description down below so you guys can watch that video and it gives you the background on why I've decided to embark upon this impossible journey. And I hope you guys will stick along with me while I do each episode of when I get new games and then any stories behind each acquisition, such as if someone was willing to bundle a bunch for me or if someone made donations. With that said, uh, I really hope if you guys enjoy the channel or you wanna help me on my journey, I absolutely do accept donations, whether that's to my Patreon account, which the link is down below, or if you guys have uh, N64 games or a box or a manual or multiples, whatever, if you guys wanna send them to me, put a comment down below or send me a message and let me know. I absolutely would love to get any help I can get with this. And um, if you do send me something or you do make a donation, I will make sure to give you a shout out in the next Complete Inbox episode. I'll go ahead and shout out your name and, and what you did and any interactions that we had. Uh, and I really appreciate anyone or anybody who feels that they wanna help me on this journey because this is something that I'm very excited to do. So with that said, let's go ahead and start with the first wave of items that I have acquired for the North American Nintendo 64 Complete Inbox collection. And just so you all know, I will include every detail on this impossible journey, including uh, what games that I got, what condition they are in, things that they might be missing, anything that I really need, and also how I acquired each individual item. I'm not going on to eBay and trying to spend as much money as I possibly can. I'm trying to get ridiculously good deals because this is a very difficult thing to do. And I don't have a zillion dollars. I'm just a normal guy. So um, I will include all the details about each item and how I acquired it and any story behind each item. So I hope you guys look forward to all the goodness. Let's get started. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on the first wave. So I did break the seal in all these boxes so we can quickly open them up and see what's inside of each of them. We'll go ahead and start with this one first. Ooh, it looks like a big box. So I don't know if you guys had this game when you were younger or if you have it now. But what I got here is Pokemon Stadium. Now the box is actually in relatively rough shape, but this is very expensive to get complete in box. So this was the most below average price that I could get. And this comes with the cart and the manual. Give me that cart. So this does not come with the internal packaging or the transfer pack, but what it does come with is everything else. So it has all the paper inserts, all that good stuff. It's got the instruction manual, which is in good enough condition and then it comes with the cartridge, which is in very good condition. So again, I purchased this because it was below average retail price, and that's really what I'm going for if I'm gonna be able to get every single game. Some of these uh, are pretty wild to get and pretty difficult, so. And I just wanted to mention too that I did have Pokemon Stadium back in the day when I was a little kid, except I don't ever remember seeing the box. I do remember we had the transfer pack at one point, and this was pretty exciting because it was the first close to being similar to the Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color games. So I do remember having this as a kid, but I don't ever remember seeing the box, so pretty cool. Let me go ahead and we'll open up this one. Now what I had asked the people who I got these from to do was if they could flatten the boxes and then put them in some sort of cardboard box so that the extremely fragile N64 boxes don't get damaged. And you can see here's one person that actually did go ahead and do that, so I really appreciate that. So we got in here. Show us the goods, baby. -na -na -na. So here we have one game. Here is Mission Impossible. The box is in pretty good shape. There's the front and the back. You can see there's no retail stickers on it, but it does have creasing along the sides. That's extremely common in N64 boxes. But we do have the box there. We have the manual here. And this was a game that I actually bought brand new back in the day. My brother had recommended to me when we were on a trip to the mall, which is pretty far away from where I live. And he said, this game's actually really good. I'd never heard of it, but uh, my brother hadn't been wrong at that point. So I went ahead and bought it. And this is a game that I played a ton. Now I never beat it. I actually couldn't get by that 
the level where you lower yourself from the ceiling and there's all the lasers there, I couldn't get by that level. And that was before you could go on YouTube and just look it up. So this game haunts me still. But now I have it in my collection again. Very excited about that. Here's another one. Go ahead and pop it out. Break the seal. This is a great way to ship N64 box games in these priority boxes because they're basically the shape of an N64 game. Go ahead and open it up. What do we have in here? So here we have Midway's Greatest Arcade Hits. This is not a game that I had when I was a kid. You can see a little bit of uh, bending here on this side, but the other sides all look really good. And this is one that I actually got for a ridiculously low price. Now this is not an expensive game, but this is one I got for a very low price. And then I'll show you on the inside. We have both of the inserts. Look at that manual. If you're a collector, you know what I mean. And we'll pop open this side. The scariest thing about N64 games is opening these sides. That's how you ruin the boxes, is just opening these sides. Go ahead and slide it out. We can see the game cartridge it is in phenomenal shape. Back of the box, no stickers. So this is uh, an excellent item. Looks like a little, little bit of a, no, it's not a tear, it's just a crease. But great condition and for a ridiculously good price on this one. Show me the goods. Looks like we got, we got a box in there. So that looks like in there is the good stuff. Give me the goods. Careful now. So here we have Banjo-Tooie. And here we can see we have the manual. Now this one was relatively difficult to get, so it's not in the best condition. It does have the extra paperwork there. Everybody loves the extra paperwork. Here we can see his little tear on the front. And that's because this was previously a rental. So definitely some sun fading on the front of the box, but uh, this is a tricky one to get. We got stickers on the back too, but that just proves its authenticity, right? And then the cartridge we can see is in really good shape. Manjo Tui, welcome back to the family. Now this is a game that we actually did have when we were kids and uh, we played the we played the bologna and cheese out of Banjo-Kazooie, probably one of the best games on the N64. And then we got Banjo Tui when it first came out and it just wasn't the same. It didn't have the same catch to it. It didn't have the same incredibleness and, and the lightheartedness that Banjo-Kazooie had. But still, this is absolutely a phenomenal game. But it's not as good as Banjo-Kazooie, putting it out there. More, they say. Feed us more. And here we have, I mean, you can tell by the cartridge. The cartridge gave it away. Bass Hunter 64. Now again, I picked this one up because I got it for a price that was well below average. You can see the box, the condition of the box. Really good shape. Again, there's that real common creasing that you get on N64 games because when you store them without a protective case, you just get squished. But this box is in really good shape, especially for uh, the below average price that I got it for. No stickers on the manual. Everybody loves that. This is not a game that my brothers and sisters uh, and I had when we were kids, but it does have that original bag, which goes ahead and goes into the, the box there. The cartridge is in phenomenal shape. Happy to have it, the price was right. Another step on the way to the complete collection. We're getting into some of the bigger boxes here. We do have three big boxes after this one. Go ahead, really appreciate how well they packaged it. I mean, that's how I feel about these games. I love them. They're like the children that I don't have yet. Go ahead and bust this open. Can you see what it is? All right, so we go ahead and open this one up. Jet Force Gemini, really an underrated game. I think back in the day, this was very overhyped because it was another rare game when they were really on that hot streak of just could do no wrong. And this is their third person shooter. Oh, I just love the bright colors in the box. Don't make fun of me. If you knew how I felt, you'd feel it too. And that's really what I'm going for with these videos. I got, I want you guys to feel the love that I feel. It does have this crease right here in the front. But that's it, other than that, the box is really in immaculate condition. And there's always this little crease by the end from when people tried to open it for the first time. Also, you always get that crease there. But look, the box is in phenomenal condition. Again, this is another game that I got for well below the average selling price. And we bust it out. 
You can see the manual is in excellent condition. No stickers on it. This is not a formal rental, which is really what I would love. But to be honest, I'm trying to get every game. So if you guys donated something that had stickers on it or the manual or the, the label was damaged, or the box was damaged, I'd still take it because this is, this is not going to be easy. But I'm happy that you guys are coming with me. But this is a game that we actually got when it was brand new, my brothers, sisters, and I. And it was really fun. We played the baloney out of it. Graphics are a little blurry, but at the time, this was a super awesome game. Now, because uh, it kind of didn't really have that same hook that all the other Rare games had, I don't think we played it as much. Certainly not to, certainly not to completion, but one of my younger brothers actually very recently, because we still have our original N64, he was playing this game, I believe over Christmas, and he had his original save file. Now that, he's, now that he's older, he picked it back up and he beat the final boss. He finished his original save file from when he was a kid. So uh, that makes Jeff or Shemini a little more special in my heart. Obviously an awesome game. Is it weird that I'm so excited? I'm actually super excited about all of these. Uh, when I was younger, I don't ever remember seeing the seeing the boxes in our house. You know, this was just packaging these N64 boxes. Back in the day, it was just packaging and it kept the game safe, and then you threw it out afterwards. So it's actually really exciting for me to now have these uh, that I'm older and kind of relive <clears throat> relive that moment of when you first got a brand new N64 game. So here's one. This is probably uh, I spent a, a tiny bit more on this than I would have wanted to. Again, I got it for below an average retail price, and that's because that's the only way I'm going to be able to get all these. I don't want to spend a million dollars. I'm not just saying I'm going to spend all my money and get every single one. I want to do it, and I want to do it in a fun way. So that would be through you guys donating games or me getting them for a really good price. But here we can see we have Super Mario 64. And this is the box that is the original print. It's not the million seller. That's what I would prefer, but to be honest, uh, once I start getting really close to the complete collection, I'll probably start getting the million seller variants as well. But I'm very excited to have this as the original print, it's not the million seller. We can see the box is in uh, really insane shape, given that this was a launch game. And look, this box is so old. That's probably the biggest ding right there. You know, little, little dings around here. But again, this was a launch game for the N64. Whoever kept this box, they knew. They knew I'd want it one day. And again, it's got the manual, no stickers on it. It's not a formal rental. It's been used because that's uh, what you did back in the day. And it's got all the paperwork as well, registration card. Really excited about that. It's got that original cardboard insert. Once the, uh, the, the game started coming out later in the years, they built the cardboard into the actual box. So that's what the original releases came with. And then look at that cartridge. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this almost looks fake. It's in such pristine condition. So I'm probably gonna have to open this up later and make sure that this is legit. It does have the number indentation stamped in the back is what authentic cartridges have, but this looks like it was never played. And they do have the box in such good condition, so maybe it was really rarely played. But this is in uh, really great condition, but again, it wasn't free. I had to uh, pay a little more than I wanted to, but again, this was below retail price. Look at that box. This is probably one of my favorite games of all time. This is what we got back when the N64 came out. I mean, this game would hold you over for as long as Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild holds you over nowadays with the Nintendo Switch. This, this game just has endless replayability. Now we got the big guns. We got two really big boxes left. I was able to um, speak with some of the sellers on eBay who had a lot of N64 games for sale. I was able to negotiate a fair price if I bought more than one game. So this isn't even that many games in here. It's just like insanely good packaging. I respect it. That's what the gadget god likes. Go ahead and snip it open. Do you guys feel like you're on? The journey with me. It's like you guys personally are collecting the whole set. Oh, I know what this one is. I know what it is. Now, this is probably the best packaging you're ever going to see. I believe the box is in there, and look at this. They, they like shrink wrapped the outside to keep the box in there in one piece. Um, with that said, that kind of points out that if you are buying N64 games on eBay or Amazon and it says it's factory sealed, you can see from this, people do have these uh, cellophane sealing machines in their homes. So just make sure if you're buying a game that's still sealed, that it actually is still sealed. It's not someone who did it in their own house. Clearly this person has that, one of those machines. So uh, just be careful if you're trying to buy sealed games. Now 1080 snowboarding, 
didn't mean to give it away. You couldn't tell from seeing the cartridge. This was uh, honestly probably one of my top games. I got a ton of top games for the N64. That's why I'm collecting it. But this was definitely one of the games that I played way too much. And that's because this was before Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. You see the box is in exceptional condition. I paid probably just about retail for this, but that's because um, it's an original print and it's in such great condition. You can see there's really no creases at all on here. And since the way that that person packaged the box, they obviously appreciate N64 uh, with the same passion that the Gadget God does. See, we have all the inserts here. It's very exciting if you're a huge nerd. We have the operation card. Now this came with uh, a few games. For example, Mario Kart came with an operation card. This is 1080 snowboarding. Uh, Donkey Kong, Di sorry, Diddy Kong Racing came with an operation card. So manual is in awesome condition. You can see they opened it. That's what you're supposed to do. That's what I did back in the day. But did you know what 1080 snowboarding? <laughs> but I played 1080 snowboarding so much back in the day that did you know there's an unlockable panda character? Forget how you get him. You, you have to do literally everything in the game and beat everything. But you can get an unlockable panda character and the panda can do front flips and back flips. Now again, this is before Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. That was like mind blowing to have an action sports game and you're able to do flips, you know? Doing 360s, 720s, and 1080s was insane. Being able to do front and back flips was really uh, what set this game apart in an extreme level. The attention to detail, very, very serious simulator, but also a lot of fun. This is one of my favorite games for N64. Glad to have it back. Glad to have it back, baby. So look at this package right here. This is someone who had a lot of N64 games complete in box for sale, and I purchased almost every one that they had because I said, if I buy multiple ones, will you cut me a serious deal? And they were like, I appreciate your enthusiasm. I appreciate your love for the retro. Let's do it. So I bought all of these from the same seller. Very cool that these actually come in uh, the plastic protective cases as well. So uh, I'm not gonna bust these open on camera. It's gonna take forever, but I'm gonna show you the boxes and everything. These all come complete in box which means the cartridge and the manual and everything. And I'm only getting ones, at least, that I'm acquiring myself that are in really good condition. If you guys wanna make a donation, if you wanna donate a box or a cartridge or a manual or two or whatever, then I'll take whatever condition you guys got because this is a long and really fun journey. Here we can see we've got a million choice seller for Torok 2. Torok 2 is not a crazy expensive game, but this box is in really good condition. See a little bit of warping there on the back. But you know, no creases on the side. Again, this is somebody who appreciates uh, N64 in the same way that I do. So, super excited to have that. Then we have Star Fox 64, million choice seller. This one's got kind of the same warping on the back. Maybe this person lived in a more humid area. A little creasing on the side there. A little creasing on there, very common. Little creasing there as well. But again, that's complete in box. That's the million seller of Star Fox 64. That's not the big box that comes with the Rumble Pack. I'd love to get that, but you know, we're just getting started here. WCW Mayhem. The wrestling games are super common. I mean, these are like, these are really, really cheap, even complete in box. So again, this is complete in box with the box and manual. Never had this game growing up. But I got it now. These boxes are all, uh, they're all in really good condition. A, a tiny bit rough just because I was able to get them in this huge lot. But I didn't mention, uh, this is a game that I had as a kid, one of the early N64 games that I had. And I played the baloney out of this one. Super fun. I, I absolutely had the controls on lock so I could do everything. I played this one a whole ton. The other N64 game that I probably played as much as this was, was the other WWF game, WrestleMania 2000. I mean, I probably put a thousand hours into that game back in the day. Create a character, make your own moves, all that stuff. So this is a really good game. Torok 2, I remember getting this. Uh, Torok 1 was a game that we had as kids way back in the day. And it was so awesome, so fun to play that. I love the bow and arrow and the crazy guns. Torok 2 was more of the same. And while we didn't play it as much, because you kind of got Torok Burnout, uh, the, the guns were even crazier in this one. And this one had multiplayer as well, so my brothers and sisters, we could all get down, play together. 
Star Fox 64, I don't think we even need to talk about how good this game, probably the best Star Fox game ever made. Um, maybe a, even a little better than Star Fox 64 3D for the Nintendo 3DS. This came with the Rumble Pack back in the day in the big box, but we did have that and it was super fun. And Dross, this game was is just a classic, no question. Quest 64, this is not a game that we had as kids, but I think the name, as far as marketing is concerned, is genius. Quest 64, it just, it, it tells you what it's all about right from the start. You just assume it's like a Zelda game or something. But we never had this as kids. I heard it's not very good, but the box art is sweet, and it's another game that I need for the collection, so I'm psyched to have it. Star Wars Episode One Racer. Now, I'm not uh, a huge fan of Star Wars games from back in the day, but this game is really good. It's actually, it's so good. This might be one of the best Star Wars games, especially from back in the day. You can see the box is pretty beat up. Here in the back, we can see there's this warping on the side. So if at any point, looks like I got a little, little crunch damage. If at any point I can get a better box for this, I absolutely will upgrade the box. But again, uh, I don't have it complete in the box, so I'm super psyched. It's just a great game, Watto, super fun. Another game we have here, Banjo-Tooie. Now, this is a very difficult game to get. I believe that this one, I can't recall exactly, uh, I'll put down in the description whether or not it's true. I believe this one does not have the manual. But this is in uh, really good condition given how difficult it is to get this game complete in box. Now, there's a lot of box damage there, but, uh, but I'm cool with that. I love it. I love all these. It's like Easter. I'm opening Easter eggs. Box damage on the top here. Again, super common. These games all got squished back in the day. So if you if you don't have box damage there, then you, you clearly are as crazy as the gadget god. Yes, a game that needs no introductions. A heavy box too. Goldeneye 007. And of all the N64 games, since there were a lot of kids, we easily had four players, we played this game an insane amount. Now I can actually say, you can unlock cheats in the game by beating levels on certain difficulties in a certain amount of time. And we actually played this game so much and were so dedicated that we got every single code unlocked. I remember back in the day, my, my cousin, oh, now I can't remember his name, all of a sudden I'm trying to tell the story. I don't even want to guess what it is. It's on the tip of my tongue but we were at my cousin's house and we had heard that he's the only one who could beat that certain level where you get the invincibility cheat. You had to beat, it's a level that has all the, all the scientists on it and it was super fun to go in there and kill them all just because they were the NPCs, they, they would never fight back. So as kids, it was super fun to kill them all, but we had heard that he was the only one who could actually beat that on 007 difficulty in like two minutes. It had to be the perfect run. And we brought our game to New Jersey, to our cousin's house we went to visit. And it was like the only time we ever saw him. And we had him sit down literally, and we had him play the level like 15 times until he beat it on 007 and got us that, that invincibility cheat. It's the absolute hardest cheat to get in the game. But we sat with him and we we're like, you can't leave until you do it. And he got us the cheat. And I mean, I, I have so many memories with this game. Don't pick odd job, you jerk. He's shorter than everyone else. He's really hard to hit. Man with the golden gun. This game is phenomenal. Now, while I wish it wasn't a million seller, uh, again, I'm super happy to have this. Got that price sticker on the front. Authentic. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen this. I'm sure you have. But once you see it, you can't unsee it. Look at his hand holding the gun, right? But look, it looks like his mouth is extra long. Doesn't it? You can't unsee it. I just ruined the box for you. His hand is so aligned with his mouth, it looks like a really long mouth. Look at that, look at that super smile. Anyways, this is probably one of my favorite games of all time on the N64. I mean, 25% of the games are my favorite of all time. So, um, that's that's some of my memories with GoldenEye 007. This lot also came with cartridges for Super Mario 64. Look at that, it's flawless, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, so that's an old game. And it also came with uh, Banjo-Kazooie, you got a little bit of squish in there, you can see this, this cart was well loved, and it does, it does come with the manual as well, the manual is in exceptional condition, no stickers, very stiff and flat, very stiff and flat, um, some label wear on that, so I do need the box for this, donate me the box, I love you, 
I'll shout you out. I will give you a shout out. No questions asked. If you guys donate anything N64 related to me, put a message down below. Uh, let, let me know what you got. Absolutely. Quake 2 is another game that we played four player multiplayer a whole ton of. And we can see here it's got some sun fading on the front of the box. This probably sat uh, in a retail store in the front for like years until someone wanted to buy it. Back's got no sun fading. That's how it works. Covers always have a little bit of sun fading. Again, the box is in really nice condition. Super psyched about that. That's cool that they included these box protectors as well. Um, I do recommend certain box protectors. I'll do a different video on that. I'll put the link down below to um, the box protectors that I recommend, the video I made on that. But this is complete Quake 2. This is kind of like what came after GoldenEye once we got bored of GoldenEye. Not that we got bored of it, but this is what came after that. We played a ton of Quake 2. So this is definitely one of the games that me and my brothers and sisters played a whole ton of back in the day. Really a great game. And then to wrap it up, this lot also came with War Gods, which is a two player fighting game. It's got a little bit of box warping in the front. I'm cool with it though, I'm not complaining. I'm, I mean, I, I picked this up, I picked this out. So it does have that sticker on the back. How much does it cost? Asterix. I don't know how much that is but the box is in really good condition. It is complete in box with the box uh, and the manual and the cartridge. And it also came with Orcarina of Time. This is not the million seller version, so I'm very excited about that. But there we go. So guys and girls, let me know your thoughts down below. I'm happy to have you all come along with me on my journey to complete in box a complete North American set of Nintendo 64 games with the boxes and manuals. If you guys have anything to donate, leave a message down below. I respond to everybody. I can send you my address. If you guys want to make any donations, whether it's just a single manual or you have an extra box laying around or a couple extra games that you're never going to play again, I want them. I really do. And I'll give you a shout out in the next complete inbox video. Put your name, whatever you want. I'll give you a shout out because I really do appreciate it. And this is something that I think is going to be super fun to do. And I will, I will chronicle every step of my journey for you guys to watch with me and enjoy. I'll show you all the good stuff as it comes in the mail and uh, it's not going to be easy but I'm super excited. It's super fun. I, I have zero boxes so this is really fun to actually have them now and see them in all their, their goodness and their glory. The Nintendo 64 is my favorite video game system. Um, check out my other video where I explain why it is and, and what kind of pushed me over the edge to starting to build this complete and box North American collection. Um, any questions or comments, put them down below. You guys know I appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have anything that you're willing to donate. Put a message. Um, you can send me a message. I'll send you my address. I'll give you a shout out. We'll all, we'll all do this together. It'll be fun. But uh, I hope you guys join me on this journey and we can, we can pretend that these are yours or whatever you want. You can pretend that you're collecting through me. Silly business. Let's get them all. It's like Pokemon but real life, gotta catch them all. Thanks for watching everybody. Feel free to check out my other videos. Look forward to the next episode of Complete Inbox. I'm the Gadget God. I do the research, so you don't have to. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a great rest of your day.